Hello, Lyman Shire. It's February 10th. It will be all right. So yeah, if you've been following me on Twitter or Daily Booth, that was what was so awesome on Monday night. By the way, if you're not following me, the link's in the post box. Post box? I just came up with that. I think it sounds cool. Well, I mean, I didn't just come up with that. I came up with it while I was scripting, but it's all stream of consciousness scripting, so it kind of counts, right? Anyway, I got to go to Indianapolis for a reading of John's new book, Will Grayson Will Grayson. And I have to say, it sounds like another success. I'll always feel attached to Paper Towns, what with it occurring right next to where I went to high school, and it being the first one of his books that I ever read, which makes it extra special that that's the one I got my J squiggle on. But Will Grayson, Will Grayson promises to be a good read. What was best about the evening, though, was John's perceptive insights on humanity. Now, some of you who aren't nerdfighters may not know this, but John has this mantra of imagining people complexly. If you haven't heard it, I'll try and do my best to summarize. Essentially, we are really good at understanding ourselves and the subtleties and complexities of our lives and the collection of our experiences. However, we're not as good at doing doing this for other people. If I were just walking down the street and someone bumped into me, I would have no idea what kind of day they were having or what caused them to bump into me. All I would know is that they did bump into me. And most people would usually react to something like that by getting angry and thinking that they did it just for the sole purpose of angering them. So essentially, we tend to label humans the way we label other information to make it easier to process. Unfortunately, when you try to simplify people to one lone idea, it leads to romanticizing them or villainizing them. And curiously enough, it also turns out that the judgments that we make about other people really say more about ourselves than about the person. But John said that this is also what makes reading books so much more interesting than watching TV, which is that we get to complexly imagine the characters in a way that we wouldn't be able to if the television or movies just just told us exactly what to think about them. I would like to take this one step further, however, and turn this into what I think is so wonderful about the YouTube community. I mean, everybody go through that phase where you're trying just to get subscriptions because you want to be popular. I'll admit, there was a time when that was one of my major motivations. But you start to realize you make really good friends along the way. But why exactly is this? Well, because we live in a community where it's now encouraged to be completely honest with each other, we get a more complex understanding of the people that we're friends with. Sure, we keep some secrets from each other, but our videos are really just concentrated versions of our personalities. By bearing ourselves to the audience, we actually aid them in seeing us complexly. They get to see that we have different moods, that we have different preferences, that we can really talk about a lot of things that aren't related to what we're doing in our careers or schooling. For example, most of my friends, even my really good friends here at school, would probably think of me first as a musician. This is, of course, aided by the fact that I spend two to three hours a day in a practice room working on my art form. But if if you asked them, they probably wouldn't talk about the fact that I'm enthusiastic and creative in a lot of other areas, and that I can be quite the blabbermouth. But on YouTube, you guys get to see that other side of me. And so I'd say you get a bigger picture of who I am. And it's not to say that I like you better, because I'm very fond of real human interaction. But when you have real human interaction without this ability to stand on a soapbox and give your true honest opinion of something, you don't get a full understanding of the people that you may even be really good friends with. And this is why I love this community, because I bear myself to you and you accept me for who I am, regardless of what I've accomplished. So anyway, I think I've gone on long enough. Today's outro was made by a user named Tiffany, also known as Tiffany's Cool World here on YouTube. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on Video Response Thursday. Take it away, Tiffany. It will be alright.